folks. Let's go. Now we need to find a nice, nice area with which we can, uh, you know, which we, with which we can cast our lovely spell. It's called the Help spell. Help! I'm sorry, Lord British. We're just uh, interrupting. I'll be out of your way in a moment. Right now, I'm going to cast the Moon Gate because you can't do it just to rub it into your face. Ow! That's because I tried to rub it into your face, isn't it, British? Hate you, you tyrant. Yes! You're not going to trust the Time Lord, are you? Careful, my friend. Do not believe him. How may I help thee, Avatar? The sphere's outer defenses sends thy party back to a specific position in space. Until this defense is broken, thou cannot enter the generator. Thou must find Nicodemus's hourglass. If I am incorrect in mine hypothesis, the sphere's inner defense will involve moon gates. Look for a visual pattern to help thee solve this mystery. It is an enchanted hourglass that will help thee if it is used at the sight of the sphere. Once I am free of the power of the generator, thou canst summon me by using the hourglass. He is a mage that lives west of the forest of Yule. I know bloody everything. He is the embodiment of supreme evil. He must be stopped. He thrives on domination and control. That's why I'm controlling you, Avatar! Woo! Okay, do we have everyone? Can we all, can we form a nice one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes, we do. Now we'll cast the help spell again, because we're sissies. Help! Now we'll use our magic carpet to go to you. Let us play the game. Let us not and say we did. Now you and I both know where his magic hourglass is. Okay, you don't know where his magic hourglass is, but I know where his magic hourglass is. La 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 la. Right. To go to you to talk to Nicodemus, because obviously he'll still have his hourglass. I mean, he's gone completely bat crud insane, but he'll keep a magic hourglass. Of course he would. Don't be ridiculous. He's Nicodemus. Of course he'd keep his hourglass. Curiosity has got the better of me. Let us find out what that is. It says that. If someone can identify it for me, please do so. Who's hungry? You said you didn't eat much back when we hired you. Wait, I'm small. I don't eat much. Nom, nom, nom. I want to eat this loaf of bread because I'm a big, big, fat pie. See, we just stopped so that we could look at that building and you could have a low whole loaf of bread. You fat, fat so. Well, we are making progress. Nicodemus, his hourglass is important. And then we'll try and solve the ether. And once we solve the ether, all the magicians will be sane again. Yes, it's the ether that's causing the problem. There's the bee cave.
Miss Nicodemus' house. There it is! Hey, buddy! I've come! What stuff? Also, because I'm mildly curious, I can unlock this door. Where does it lead? Absolutely nowhere. Oh! Timey, limey lord? Hmm, I don't know him. Wait! Yes, I do. Does he have a big black moustache and a three pairs of pants? No! I know who he is. He's the fellow who came to fix my sundial the other day, right? No. He's not? Hmm, then he must be the man I'm not thinking of. Wait! I remember! He was my Knightsbridge opponent. We play on the my Knightsbridge court just north of mine house. It is a life-size board game. I have a book around here somewhere which contains the rules. <laughs> this Time Lord told thee what? An hourglass? I have no blinking hourglass. Glassy, wassy, hours, blassy. <laughs> Wait! An enchanted hourglass? That does ring a bell. Clang, clang, clang. <laughs> Wait! I remember. I had an hourglass. I sold it. To a gypsy. Or was that an antique dealer? I think it might have been sold to a gypsy antique dealer in Britain. Or pause. Or somewhere on that side of the land. If my memory served me correctly, that hourglass used up its enchantment, which is why I sold it. <laughs> Suppose when the ether is repaired, I could possibly re-enchant it. Bring it to me and we'll see what I can we can do. Hi no! We can play a rousing game of chess! But only if I can deal at all times. I do not trust thee. Bye bye, booby booby, bye bye. Ha ha ha! Oh, Nicodemus, you, you, total loon. <laughs> but we now know where we need to be. We need to go to pause. We need to buy an hourglass. Ah, oh, this is turning out to be a very long-winded thing. Get through the spoon gate, but you need this hourglass. And then we need to probably enchant the hourglass. But we can't enchant the hourglass until the ether's fixed. Looks like we'll be going to fix the ether soon. Admittedly, the ether does need fixing. But even so... Can't the ether fix itself? It's not too much to ask. The avatar doesn't have to fix everything. Crackling sound, getting a little on my nerves. There we go. That's not getting on my nerves half as much. Of course, like the avatar's been reduced to some kind of errand boy. You must do this, but to do this, you must do that, but to do that, you must do this, and to do this, you must do that. By the way, you must do this. I mean, like, by the way, you die now, sir. I kill you. Now, she has that hourglass. Here she is. Uh, house of items. Buy. Uh, find many things. I want the, uh, hourglass. who was so daft that he could not recall how to use it. Yes! I may now take the glass. It is an important hourglass. We now have the hourglass. Now, when we come back, folks, with uh, Nicodemus's hourglass, um, we can find out that we need to solve the ether, because he's going to tell us to solve the ether. It was so set up like that. Until then, folks. Until then. <laughs>